This morning again, the shooting off fireworks probably at that same restaurant. And it's 8.15 a.m. And the first firework that I heard was like 7.30. So for breakfast this morning we have more bread, soup, steamed bun. Steamed bun? Is that yeah. what they call it? Good morning and welcome to the Edges of Earth. My name is Brock. I'm with Jethro. We are... Oh, he's hiding again. He's always hiding. We're back on the road again. We, we just checked out of the hotel. It's like 8.30 in the morning. Now we're going to a different village, yeah? Yeah. Do you know the name? Ba Sha Miao Zhai. Okay. Ba Sha Miao Zhai. Okay. That's it's another one. ethnic group. Okay. So that's the name of the town or the name of the eth ethnic group? That is a group's uh, village. Okay. The, the name of town. So the taxi driver is going to pick us up here. And how long does it take to get there? One hundred and a half. One hour and a half. A hundred and a half. <laughs> we'll meet you in a hundred and a half. So after about 150, we made it to uh, this town. Yeah, so we're here basically. I don't know what to do. I have no idea. We don't know our way around yet. But what we learned is this is the last gunner tribe in China. So this is a place that they use guns. They still use guns yeah. to maybe hunt with? Yes, okay. yeah, for hunters. Cool, but everywhere else in China, no. No, it it's, like, it's like banned. So interesting. I feel more at home here. This way for coffee. Is coffee this way? Yeah. Okay, we'll go, we're going this way. Here. Bacon for breakfast, a lot of toys, baskets, rugs. Buy something for you? Yeah, it's a little bit feminine for me. Oh, yes. Yeah. Seriously, terrible smell through here. We're thinking, yeah, pigs? Certainly smells like it. They live with the pigs here, maybe. I don't hear them, though. Interesting place. So as we were flying, there was a whole large group of people wearing traditional clothing walking past. So it looks like they were going to do a performance. So we're on our way to go see the performance. So we couldn't find a tea shop or a coffee shop, so we found a man who is selling tea. But we just want to buy a cup of his tea. You like yours? Mmm. It's good. Yeah? It's like oolong tea. So we stopped to have tea. He says he's from one of the villages down the hill. And he says that everyone in a village has the same last name. Yeah. And if he wants to get married, he is not allowed to get married to someone within that, that village. He must go outside of that village and marry someone else. Um, and even if someone from another village happens to have the same last name as him, he's not allowed to get married to her as well. They must marry someone who has a different last name. Yes. 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 Which would be possibly difficult because there's these places aren't very big and there's probably only five different last names if there's five different villages. So he has four villages to choose from and then plus he can't choose some people because they might have the same last name as the person from that village. So it would just be difficult, you would think. Anyway, and then I asked him what what uh, is his favorite part about living in this area? He says he doesn't really have much of a feeling at all because he's been here his whole life, which is kind of similar to everyone in their own hometown. I guess I could say the same about my own town. Interesting. So anyway, we're walking next to people, following them to do some type of performance with, I don't know, bamboo sticks. So what's interesting is the people here, when they have a child, they plant a tree symbolizing like the, the birth of their son or their daughter. And then in the future, when that person dies, the people around them use that tree that was planted when they were born to make their coffin. So we have the guide up here and apparently that is only true for boys. <laughs> So they have these huge structures to hang all of their wheat to dry as opposed to the village yesterday where they kind of put it all over the ground. Yeah. Yeah. So because this village. Because a different uh, minority. Yeah. So this one's better. It's more efficient, more clean. 
it's definitely out of the way. So we watched some type of artificial ceremony from a man in the audience. They pulled a man up there and watched how, kind of how they celebrate a wedding in a, in a weird way. Now they're coming around, they handed out food, donate a little couple yuan and you can get sticky rice and a bamboo leaf. We just finished up at the performance. We got rice, sticky rice, and a bamboo leaf. I don't know. It was an interesting thing, I guess. Yeah, you understood 99% of it. I understood zero. Was it fun for you? I've seen you laughing a yeah, couple of times. Sometimes it's fun for me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really understand. I had my phone out, I was translating a bit, yeah. but sometimes the translation wasn't perfect, so it was kind of difficult. But they kind of discussed a bit about weddings and what else? And also about the, you know, the very special instruments, the music instruments. Uh -huh. This is a very unique. Yeah, one. that's right. Yeah. They played uh, some interesting stuff. Yeah. So now we're going up this hill, I guess. What did she say was up here? The, yeah, the, the, t the name of the hill is the Loving Hill. Loving Hill. Yeah. Okay, this is weird. Is it just a viewpoint or what did you, what did you say it was? I think it's just a viewpoint. Mosquitoes are, are these, are these mosquitoes? What yeah. is this? Nope, it's just a fly, okay. A viewpoint, let's go to a viewpoint. So I guess this is the top. <laughs> In every direction it just kind of goes down. So we're going to, we're going to check it out and see what it looks like up here. There are 12 villages here, and uh, yeah, of course, every village has the same has the same um, last name. Mm -hmm. And uh, the very the biggest one, their last name is very interesting in Chinese. That means uh, rolling. Rolling. Yeah, rolling. Yes, rolling like that. So in in Chinese, we don't we never take this as our last name, but this is very unique in this minority groups. Mm -hmm. So it's very funny. Sometimes it's, if something said, oh, okay, rolling, no, they're not to blame you or just scam you. This, this is the last name of that man. Yeah. Interesting. It's like a giant grapefruit, but it's not. It's called the, uh, it's the thing that we ate at the other place. Yuzi. We met back up with the taxi driver who is waiting for us all day on this mountain, by the way. And we're going to have lunch together. Oh, I'm sneezing and sneezing and sneezing. Then? You're allergic to foreigners. No, I'm allergic to their... Foreigners. <laughs> oh. So we have... Some type of leafy green. We have pork chunks with the skin still attached. We have bamboo, onion, and pork. And then the last dish we have tofu. So we just finished up lunch. We really have we have like an hour to walk around before we have to be in a car to go to the train station to take us back to the city. Yeah. So all we're doing right now is kind of walking around, exploring, seeing if we can find another place to fly, seeing what other sites are around here. I don't know. Just looking for something unique. I guess. Yeah. And also, this is a, the place. The place go to the park lot. Remember? Yeah, I seen a parking yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to go there? Can we go there? Yeah. Of course oh yeah, let's can. go there. Let's yeah. go to a parking lot. Now we are going down yeah. the steps to see what else we can find. Seems like an interesting little village to explore. <coughs> We're trying to find our way to the bottom of this place, but it appears that we are under someone's house. That's cool. So we've been walking through here and it's really weird. It's cool. Like all the houses are 
all made out of wood. It's like from scratch. It's really cool. So simple, so basic. It's cool. I don't know what this blue represents or what this blue means, but... To protect it? Protect from what? Look. Ah, maybe from yeah, some type fix, of... Yeah. From some type of animal crawling up here. It can't. Oh, yes. Kind of cool. Your whole viewpoint is just a bamboo jungle. The taxi driver was saying that this sound that you hear is some type of cloth making machine. It dries out the clothing after yeah. they dye it. Yeah. After they dye the, use dye to change the color of the clothing, it somehow hits the clothing and dries it out. That's what oh. Jethro said. So Jethro spotted the biggest bee I've ever seen in my life and literally it was the size and length of my thumb. It was unreal. And I tried to switch my lenses, but by the time I switched my lenses to zoom in on it, it took off. I think we found a construction zone, kind of. Or another village. Maybe both. I think, Jethro, do you want to live here? No. Why not? If you live here, I can live here. Oops. You can live here if I'm not here. No. I think it'd be pretty cool. I can't survive. <laughs> I need the internet and this uh, TV. I want to watch Netflix. <laughs> I'm sure they have all of that here. So we found the machine, but it definitely isn't fabric, is it? Oh my god. What is that? Oh my god, it is fabric. It's really hitting fabric. You have one big piece of fabric and they roll it into a small piece. And then they just hit it. They must have this cotton here because this whole tractor is full of cotton. So there's not a lot of people outside. We 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 continued to go down until we found another vi village and this is not touristic at all. This is I think where they actually live, <laughs> the people. So it's really authentic but what I've noticed is there's not a lot of people outside. There's like a couple people occasionally working outside. So maybe it's just Chinese culture to be inside during the hot temperatures and then in the evening people kind of come out or not really? Yes, I think so. So one weird thing I've noticed is you can see there's bamboo growing over there next to bananas then over here you have a pine tree yeah pine trees growing and then next to that is palm trees growing for all of those things to be growing in one area I guess the climate must be pretty unique I don't know it must go through warm and cold temperatures I don't know and have the perfect amount of rain maybe I don't know it's weird I've never seen all of these three plants in one location at the same time This pretty much concludes today. Today was a short video. It wasn't a huge area. We just did a lot of walking and looking around, so I didn't show you a whole lot. But it was fun. What do you think? What was your favorite part of the day? Uh, going into that small village. Yeah, just down, basically the last video. The last yeah. video that you just saw was it's the most hot. interesting. Yes. Yeah, just walking through. Because it feels like everywhere you go in China, somehow, some way, it's like a tourist area. Uh, so technically, the, the, tour that, the tour that we went on this morning was all like a tourist thing but then when you step away from it and like go down you see how they live outside of the tourism area so I don't know it's kind of fun it's kind of interesting so that's it hope you enjoyed we are now officially leaving and going back to the city which is like a five hour journey four hour journey something five like that hour journey, so. yeah maybe more because of the car ride so Ooh. anyway well I hope you enjoyed thank you all for watching and remember your time is running out start living take care